There are some fabulous names, and um, I think some folks have mentioned to us in particular uh, things like Zinnia Zowie and Coleus Chocolate Mint. Um, those come from uh, Goldsmith and Pan American, respectively, and they do a wonderful job of naming some of their varieties so that they have an appeal to customers and consumers. And uh, what we will do with some of these companies, if, if they have varieties that are ornamental and, and they've named them in such a way that maybe they've had um, a different target audience, like a grower. Or, or so forth, um, we can work with them and find names that will be attractive to our customers. So we can name things um, according to um, their appeal and their characteristics and something that might be fun or easy to remember for our customers. Um, it, it's a little bit more tricky in the, the, vegetative, uh, the vegetable side because we can't rename things. So um, when companies will name a vegetable something that's not relatable, or difficult it's difficult for us to introduce that to um, a packet customer but we have special relationships with our vegetable breeders also so um, if they have a new product coming down the line that we really are interested in we may have the opportunity to name it so something like parks pepper orange sickle um, is a perfect name and we can um, have our customer relate to the color of the item is orange the shape of it and the taste of it is sweet and so it's all there in the name and it's really easy for the customer to relate to the product and if I ever get stumped with naming something we have a wonderful crew of people at heart that can help me out.